Hello everyone. Welcome to Microsoft Teams. In this video, we will learn how to create a team. So go into Teams and create a team by clicking on the Join and Create Team button. And I can say create a team. Now notice that you'll see all the public teams here that are created within the organization that I can go ahead and join. Now I'm going to go ahead and create my team. I'll say build a team from scratch. Now you can create a private team, which is governed by an owner and members, or you can create a public team, such as the ones that we saw outside. So I'm going to create a private team. Let's give this team a name. And I can give it an optional description. And now we can go ahead and create a team. Now, once you create the team, you'll need to add members to the team. So I can say, can add Manish and let's add one more person. Now you can add people by individual basis or you can also add a group. So you may have your distribution group or a mail enabled security group. You can go ahead and add those groups here directly as members of the team. Now notice that when I add them to the team, I can choose whether I want them to be a member or an owner. So for example, I'm going to make one of these members an owner. Now the differences between owners and members is covered in another section of mine, which is team owners. So you can go ahead and look at that video as well. So now once you've created the team, you'll notice that it gets created right at the bottom here. Now I can go ahead and bring this to the top by just holding my mouse and dragging the button up. So I want to bring this right to the top. So there it is. Now, once you've created the team, we can go ahead and add channels. So I'm going to add a channel. Now channels are nothing but ways in which you want to segment your communication. So I'm going to add a channel for sales management. I don't need a description. I'm going to create this as a standard channel. So this channel will be accessible by every member of the team. So in this case, we added three members. All of them would be able to see this channel. Now let's also go ahead and create a private channel. Now I want a channel where I have a discussion on performance of the team with only one person, let's say Manish. So in this situation, I can go ahead and create a private channel with Manish and notice that now when I create the channel, it asks me which of the members of the team do you want this to be a private channel with? So I'm going to say Manish only. I can again choose whether I want him to be the owner of this channel or member. I'm just going to leave it as member. So that's it. You can create teams and you can create channels. Now in the channel, you can go ahead and type in messages. You can add mention people within the team. You can add mention a channel or you can add mention the team itself. So add mentioning helps to alert all the people of the team whenever you want to send a message. You can share files. You can format messages. You can start a quick meet now in this place. And that's about it.